Hi, I'm Mark Duncan and welcome to LVI TV. I have some shocking and very unfortunate news for you all. Smoking is bad for you. I know, I was surprised to hear it too. But see, here's the deal. In addition to causing just about every major organ system we have to work harder, making it harder for you to breathe, making it more likely that you'll end up with lung cancer, making it more likely that you'll die young, making your fingers and teeth yellow, making you smell like- oh, Not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. Well, making you smell bad. In addition to all of those terrible things that smoking does to you, it also makes it more likely that you'll end up with significant periodontal disease. In fact, you're 50% more likely to lose a tooth if you smoke and everything else stays exactly the same. And then once you lose that first tooth, the others typically follow suit. So it's bad. In fact, it's pretty simple to see that it's really, really bad. In a world where we want to be healthy and strong and young, it floors me that so many people still smoke, given how bad it is for you. However, that's not what we're here for today. What I wanted to share was a little bit of information from an interesting study that was funded by the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research. One of the numbers that we often hear is that anywhere up to 80% of adults have either active or historical periodontal disease. Pretty alarming considering it's an almost totally preventable disease. But here's where it gets interesting. In this study, they controlled for age, gender, race, ethnicity, diabetes, income, and education. And they looked at the serum codonine, which is a metabolite of nicotine, to determine the exposure to environmental tobacco smoke, or what they call ETS. It turns out that the non-smokers exposed to ETS, or secondhand smoke, had a 1.45 times greater chance of moderate to severe periodontitis compared to the unexposed non-smokers. Obviously, we see higher risk for smokers, but we're talking about those who aren't intentionally ignoring the gigantic pile of reasons why smoking is really, really bad. So I suppose that if we assume that keeping our teeth is a relatively good idea, then it would be good to stay away from all forms of smoke. Not just the stuff that we burn and intentionally inhale, but that smoke that's already been in the tar-filled black lungs of a smoker. So here's one more thing to put on the list of reasons that secondhand smoke is a really bad idea, not just a stinky nuisance. So if you happen to smoke, please try and keep in mind that just like with everything that smells bad, we'd appreciate it if you keep it downwind and out of the doorways. Until next time, I'm Mark Duncan. Thank you for watching LVI TV. Hunger. Uh, to become a better cosmetic dentist, I don't think you tooth. can. The patient was worried that she was going to have to have the tooth crowned. Now, this was 20 years because ago. Because I never so. knew when I was going to get a headache, right? And I, I never knew when I was going to get a migraine. And when you're